The early morning sun shines bright as Martha Karimi and Doreen Nawire listen to Sebastian Bohardin. Sebastian is the assistant coach of Zola FC's women's team. The pair from Madure Youth Sports Association in Nairobi, Kenya, are also players in the same side. Playing for Zola FC is part of their training to become fully licensed coaches. The course that involves both theory and practical training on football has been vital to Martha and Doreen. And Sebastian, who has worked with the two, admits they have steadily progressed over the months. In the beginning, uh, they were thinking as a player and uh, not as a coach. And uh, it was even very hard for them to uh, put, the, put down the, the cones for uh, uh, making a field. And uh, um, so uh, they've made a, a big progress because uh, um, this is all not a problem anymore. And uh, now they uh, can think as a coach and they can also teach uh, the children how to, uh, how to play, how to play football. It has been a little bit of a challenge dealing with the Dutch kids because, uh, okay, as much as they try to make uh, learning for us easier and just create the understanding, it was, uh, we had to use some translation also from somebody like Sebastian because you are in the field, you are trying to teach something, but then the way you explain it, okay, maybe two, or two kids or three will get it and the rest are like, okay, we are lost, we don't know what's happening. So Sebastian has to step in and translate and that makes it, things slow a little bit. And uh, yeah, that is a challenge we've been having also at the course because the course was also in, in Dutch. Martha and Doreen hope to become the first East African women coaches and probably the youngest to possess a European trainer's diploma. Martha is 25 years old, Doreen is a year younger, and the prospect of the achievement is immense. Being one of the two women to hold it in Kenya, or maybe East Africa, I'm not sure if Uganda or Tanzania has women who've done this so far, but uh, it, uh, it feels great. Oh, it really means a lot because uh, I, before even I came, yeah, I decided uh, to take a step like coaching. I had a group uh, that I was coaching. So now it will be a very much help uh, to do it, uh, to get it back home and uh, uh, coaching some youths and also getting back to my group that I was coaching. Coaching the next generation of Kenyan footballers will be their priority. They have a face a predicament. Infrastructure could downplay the efforts of passing on their knowledge. Say here they are very much developed and they have a, a structure like you'd find here they learn even football in school and they have to do it uh, in the field. For us in Kenya there's a very very big difference you find okay soccer some uh, practice it in, uh, in the streets but here you have to learn it theory and practically. In a few weeks time Martha and Doreen will head back to Kenya fully certified coaches with vast knowledge on football. They are determined and both have set their sights on being the best coaches in Kenya. Leon Senyange, RNTC Sport.